Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com where you're sure to learn, learn the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques, and learn everything about Excel. All right, today I wanted to warn you about something that I found when creating a recent uh, step chart in a cumulative graphs over time. The chart I was trying to do was a step chart like this. Um, and uh, what I found is that when I used tables, in my formulas, I had to be very careful on what I did um, in how I copied the data. So I don't know if it's a bug, but it certainly acts differently based on the way you copy something versus using this fill handle here. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm gonna do equals count ifs, and we're gonna count the date range when it is equal to, um, and we want it to be this first one here, which is in D3. Now I want to lock this into D3, so I'm going to hit my F4 a couple of times. Actually, I want to lock it to the column of D, so I hit that three times, do my comma, and then I want to check when incident type equals what we have up here in row two, and once again, I'm going to hit F4 and toggle that, as you can kind of see it's happening over here, toggling it into the column of, or the row of two, so that dollar sign being absolute value in there. And uh, let's go ahead and hit end of parentheses and hit enter. And so you notice there is one um, value of A in the month of June. Now, if I, um, I can copy this down fine and it seems to work okay. Uh, but when I copy this over, take a look. Column B, and it even comes up with this little uh, different thing here. It says inconsistent formulas. Well, I thought the fill handle was going to give me a consistent formula. Um, so what you notice, it's working for C, it's not working for B, and it's working for A. So you see the first value is date um, in our table range and then incident type. If we go into B, notice it's switched incident type and date. And then if we go into column D, it's back to what it should have been. Now what it is doing is as we, it's created a relative reference as we copy with the fill handle across, it's saying, oh, I next want to look at the next column over which is incident type, thus the date becomes incident type and incident type becomes date because it hits the end of the table, comes back over to this date column. So uh, kind of strange. Let me, let me show you um, how this is different. So I have erased all of those formulas. We've got the right formula here. Once again, if I copy with the fill handle over, it's going to give me an error in column B. But watch this. If I just come into the cell and do control C to copy, I'm going to just highlight the range and hit enter. Look at that, B works out fine. It does not switch my table uh, references here. So if you are using that fill handle, be very, very careful. Now let me show you one other fix that you can do and what you wanna do is to create these instead of an absolute reference, or I'm sorry, a uh, relative reference, we wanna create these tables uh, in a fixed reference or absolute reference. So what you wanna do is you want to um, envelop these table references here um, in another bracket. You're going to come past that value, do a colon. Um, we can do that bracket once again, and uh, there's date came up there. I can double click on it, end my bracket, and then end the outer bracket for the entire table. And now it's made that a relative reference. Let's do the same thing for incident type. We're going to go and add one in front of it. After that bracket, we're going to do colon, bracket, incident type. I'm going to hit the tab key. I'm going to end my bracket for that part and then make it a almost like a parentheses and to make an absolute reference. Now, once I come in and use my fill handle on this formula, let's see if B changes. Look at that. B is now a consistent formula. So I can copy it across with the fill handle and copy it down with the fill handle. Um, and it has the right values in there where it did not have them until I made this an absolute table reference. So drove me batty in trying to do that video for everybody recently. And I wanted to give you that warning that if you are using table um, references, you want to copy paste and not use the fill handle unless you are going to set up those as an absolute table reference. Once again, uh, this is Steve Equals True at ExcelDashboardTemplates.com. Head on over there for other great tips, tricks, and tutorials. Also, consider subscribing to my video channel so that you're sure to get the next post delivered directly to your inbox. Thank you.